Alright, this is going to be an unboxing of my cubes, or in this case, an unbagging. Because they didn't put it in a box, they put it in a bag in it. A rip bag. But, hopefully the cubes are okay. Now, uh, I would use a knife, but, uh, last time I used a knife, uh, got hurt. So, I only use this if I need to. Which I probably don't, because it's a bag. Hmm. Might, might just open, might do it like this. Just one at a time. Okay. Uh, this comes in a box. It says Blue Magic. Which I think is a word for marijuana. Um, let me open this. Carefully, not cutting myself again. Oh. Mm, maybe I can... This should be my Rex cube. I forgot um, what else it's called. Scube, Master Scube, something like that. Master Dino cube. Maybe, maybe it's not a Rex cube. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Well, it looks really nice, whatever it is. I think it's a Master Dino cube. But anyway, it actually, it turns very well. I'm pretty sure that's the size of a 3x3. Three three. And I was thinking that um, it turned, how these turned by themselves. But I guess this is a, a deep cut puzzle. Yeah. So I'm guessing, you know, it shares these pieces. Do stuff like that. So there's an algorithm, I guess, for something. I mean, it, from what I um, see of it, or I could tell right now, I mean, I can't find anything wrong with it. I'm pretty sure um, the centers are under here. And these aren't centers. These are more likely edges or corners. I think these are the centers. It's kind of weird looking because it's like curved. And it looks like it wouldn't be able to turn. And it's like concave like that. I'm pretty impressed with it, actually. So, according to the spots, this is a blue magic, but I think it's the Master Dino Cube. I really need to fix this tripod. I keep hitting it. But, this, this. This cube was the one closest to the um, open, open end of the bag, so I'm guessing nothing else is going to be damaged since this one looks fine to me. Here's the gear cube. Oh, and if you're wondering, I got this box or bag from Dillard Street. So here's the gear cube. I, I I have no idea how to solve this. I'm really interested in seeing how. But as you turn it, these rotate. And even if you go a whole revolution, um, like back to orange, these change. So I could go to orange here, and it's unsolved, and then go again. Well, this is really neat. I think there's a version where they sticker these pieces. Uh, well, maybe not, because that wouldn't really do anything. I, I know there's like a harder version than this. Or maybe the stickers just fill up more of the pieces. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm impressed with it. Standard color scheme. Um, standard, let me think, Ishin color scheme, I think. Or, no, not Ishin. Just, um, standard color scheme with purple instead of white. Since the cube's white, they could have put in black, but they didn't. 
Okay. Here's the KO Labyrinth. It's pretty beat up. Not really. Doesn't really matter. I. I just care about the actual puzzle. Now, I don't know what KO stands for. I think it means knockoff. Like there's a labyrinth and a knockoff labyrinth, or maybe knockout. I really don't know what it means. I'm pretty sure it's not knockoff, but I don't know. It could be. It came from Bill Extreme. So this puzzle is probably going to go next to my Rubik's 360 and Brain String because I guess it's a clear puzzle. I guess in ways it is similar to the Rubik's 360 because it's got balls in it. Alright, um, this puzzle doesn't really come with a stand. Other than this uh, unattractive piece of plastic, so I'll have to find a means of holding it up and stay where it is. Yeah, maybe it will. First thing I notice, it has these um, grips on them. So you grip it, and this is basically a three by three, where I don't know the object of it. You have to um, use these balls as a Put these balls through a maze, and we all know that sticker is kind of coming up. Hey, that's not a big deal. I would need to know how to solve it before I could really insult it too much because that probably doesn't really matter anyway. Sure, it's going to be interesting. I'm guessing you. You get the ball from this side to this side. And I don't know why these are labeled the way they are. Like B10 and A8. Maybe it's just how you solve it or something. I'm guessing the balls can't fit out of here. Or they fit out of here. It seems like they don't fit in anything. Alright. Oh, there they go. You can just use it as a maze.